and welcome back to my channel. So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to recreate this bohemian summertime glowy skin makeup look. I really wanted to try something that was very simple on the eyes, but a statement lip that is not the usual statement lip like a pink or red or purple, but a grayish black color that is glossy. So I thought it was very unique, it's beautiful, and it's nice for a summertime night out or something like that because the skin is really, really glowy, really light, and just very luminous. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. Don't forget to like this video if you do enjoy this look and subscribe if you haven't. And if you guys wanna know how to get this summertime boho look, then please keep watching. So to start this bohemian look out today, I'm gonna to be using the Becca Backlit Priming Filter, and this is a very luminous primer that's gonna add a lot of luminosity to my skin and look really nice under my foundation, and I always like to buff this in with a Real Techniques dual fiber brush. So for foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, and I like to buff this out with an It Cosmetics brush, and this is the one I use all the time. It just works really good with this foundation and it keeps the coverage really, really high. When I use it with a beauty blender, it doesn't stay as full coverage, so I always like to blend this out with a brush. So I just take a little bit of it and I just kind of stripe around my face. And then going in with a brush, I'm just gonna go and blend it out. So for concealer today, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade Light, and this is a really nice highlighting shade as well as concealing any darkness. And what I like to do is I just like to take a bit of it and kind of draw like a little triangle under my eye, and then just kind of highlight around my face to bring a light to those high points. I also like to take it down my nose and also in the center of my forehead as well as my chin. And then I'm just gonna blend this out using my Beauty Blender. So next I'm gonna set that under eye area using my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in Naturally Neutral, and this is a really nice face powder. You can purchase this at the drugstore, and it's really great. I've used it for a long time now. What I like to do is just take my Beauty Blender, dip a little bit into this powder like this, and then I will press underneath my eyes until that powder starts to disappear. So next I'm gonna go in and set my face with my favorite powder ever that I use pretty much in every tutorial. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder, and I'm using the shade Medium Neutral. This is a little tan for me, but because I wanted to look tan for this look, I'm just going a little darker than I usually do. So now that we've got our face done for now, because I'm gonna add bronzer and highlight later, I'm gonna go in and do my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Ebony. So now I'm just going in and setting my brows using a clear brow gel and today I am using the NYX Control Freak Gel to set them. Before this look today we are going to be using the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette and this is by Tarte so this is a collab between Graveyard Girl here on YouTube. I'm gonna go in with the shade Natural Peaches for our transition color and I'm using this on a Sigma tapered blending E40 brush. I also wanted to mention quickly that these eyeshadows smell like chocolate not sure if that is the scent they're supposed to be, but they smell so good. They kind of remind me of the Too Faced bronzers and the chocolate bar palette, it just smells so good. All right, so now that we've got our crease color in, I'm gonna go in with Big Baby, which is like a beige. So I'm just going in and highlighting it. I might actually go in with a shimmery color in a minute because I really wanted that summery type of look, so. so. Next, using a much smaller blending brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Dog Man, which is a nice, rich brown, kind of has some red in it, and I'm just gonna go in and buff that right into the crease again. And I'm keeping this a little bit lower than Natural Peaches, kind of letting it fall onto the lid a little bit and concentrating it towards the outer corner of my eye. So now that we've got our crease going and we've got the rest of the eye look pretty much done, I'm gonna go in with the lid color and I'm gonna be using the highlight shade that's in this palette. It's called Gator Wings and it's such a beautiful champagne highlight, but I really wanted to add this to the eyes to make it look super summery. So first I'm gonna wet my brush. This is just like a regular flat brush by Sigma. This is a medium sweeper E54 and I'm going to spray it with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Mist just so I can get a really nice foiled shadow going. So I'm just gonna spray this like once twice and then I'm just gonna go in and put this on the lid and as you can see it's gorgeous I also like to bring this up a little bit it's really high up just to add some shimmer to the rest of the eye look and I also like to take this into the inner corner as well 
for an inner corner highlight. So next I'm gonna go in and kind of smoke up that lower lash line and I'm gonna go in with natural peaches first and then I'm going to go in with dog man after to just kind of deepen it up a little bit. So next I'm gonna go in and line my waterline. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. This is one of my favorites. I've used this pretty much ever since I started my channel, which was about a year ago. I've been using this for a while now. I love this eyeliner. It's definitely one of my favorites from the drugstore. So if you haven't tried it, check it out. It's like really nice for smoky eye looks. But we're gonna use a brown one today. I normally use the black, but this is gonna look really good with this look. I'm gonna go in and line my waterline out. And then I like to go back in with that Morphe G18 and just kind of buff that in a little bit. So now that we've got the eye look somewhat finished, we're gonna finish everything off. I'm gonna go in with mascara and false lashes. So now that we've got this eye look finished, I've got my mascara on, we're almost done with this eye look. I'm gonna go in with the Flutter Lashes, Intoxicating Lashes, and these are my absolute favorite right now. They are my obsession. They're amazing. So I'm just gonna go in and pop them right on. So for this look today, I really wanted super bronzy skin, so I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, and this is the best I've said it a million times, but this is the Morphe MB5 I'm gonna use to warm up my skin. So I like to start by my ear first and then just warm up and like bring it almost to the front of my cheek just to add color to my face because my face is a little flat at this point and there's not much dimension going on. So next I'm going to go in and contour my nose using the same bronzer. I'm using this little Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm just going to go in and contour it out. I used to never contour my nose but once I started doing it I feel like kind of addicting and you want to do it every time you do your makeup. So now I'm just blending out that contour just to make it look a little bit more subtle and not as prominent. Make it look a little bit more natural. So now I'm going to go in with blush and I've been using this Morphe blush palette for so long now because I just feel like it's the best blush palette ever. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. But I'm going to use this color right here which is a really peachy, beautiful summer shade. And I'm using this on a Morphe G4. So next I'm gonna go in and highlight using my Tarte Skin Twinkle palette. This is one of my favorite highlights ever. And I'm gonna first spray my brush using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Mist. And this just is gonna make it super pigmented. So I'm just gonna spray my brush about twice. And I usually spray it about twice per side. And I'm gonna start at the top of the cheekbone and kind of work down. And if you do wear your hair back with this highlight, it looks really pretty with this makeup look. It just looks really summery because if you bring your highlight up around your hairline like this, when the light hits it, it just like catches it and it looks really pretty. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger like this, because I normally just like to do it with my finger now instead of a brush because I feel like it's a thinner application. Now I'm gonna go in and bake underneath my highlight, my blush, and my bronzer. And I'm just using the Cody Airspun powder I used under my eyes earlier on a little black beauty blender. And the black ones are a lot denser than the pink ones I usually use to blend out concealer or foundation. So this one is really, really good for that. And what I'm gonna do is just go underneath my contour and bronzer and whatnot. If you do get creasing around your mouth, this is also going to help with that as well. I really get that pretty much every day if I don't do this, so. So you could leave this on for about a minute or two. I don't really wait a long time. I know that when you bake, people say to bake for five minutes, but I usually don't bake for that long. I like to bake for like a minute or two. So I'm gonna go in and dust this off with the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. You could use powder brush. Um, but make sure that you dust it away from your face so that it doesn't get into all the work that you've done. You don't wanna mess that up, so make sure that you brush away. All right, so now we get to do the lip, and I was really excited about this because this is the look I post on Instagram. It's a beautiful black gray lip, and it's glossy, so it's super unique. This is the NYX Cosmic Metal Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Galactic. Um, they came out with these not too long ago. I have all of them, I love them, but this one is super unique, super different, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on. You can wear this look with any lip color, but I just decided to try something trendy, fun, and it looks good with this boho summertime look. So next I'm gonna go in and spray my entire face to set it using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Mist. I've used this a couple times in this tutorial, and I love it. it smells really good, and it just looks really nice when you set your makeup with it. It kind of melts the product into your skin. I'm kind of addicted to setting my face, so I kind of go a little bit crazy. So yeah. All right guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you beauties in my next video.